Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Smart India Hackathon, the world's largest open innovation model where students from every corner of India, whether there is Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Tamil every corner of India come together to solve real world problems in just 36 hours. Every year, ministries, government, departments, and top industry release challenges that matter from agriculture and healthcare to cybersecurity and AI. Students from teams brainstorm ideas and develop working prototypes, all while raising against the clock. It's not about coding, it's about teamwork, creativity, and impact. You will work with mentors, get real time feedback, and present your solution to industry experts. And yes, there are prizes for lakhs and sponsorship as well. But the biggest reward is your idea might actually get implemented to solve real problems for millions. So are you ready to create and change the nation? This is not just a competition. This is Smart India Hackathon. Your idea is your code in your future. Think, build, innovate. So today in this video, we are going to talk about every information about your site at Smart India Hackathon, who are eligible and who can participate, how to participate and all other things. So stay tuned till the last, till the video. First thing first, we are going to see about your POC registration, then internal hackathon, then team formation and registration, then team nomination process, idea submission process and general guideline and contact details of your site. Then what is SPOC registration? So who are the SPOC? First, SPOC means single point of contact. For Smart India Hackathon 2025, can be any senior member of the college faculty such as lecturer, assistant professor, or any associate professor, or your HOD, dean, principal, or another designated official like your staff of your college is your SPOC then how to register so they you cannot register directly your college SPOC single point of contact will handle registration so you have to give your names to your SPOC then this SPOC is typically responsible for containing internal hackathon managing student registration and ensuring all the guidelines followed by them so after your college SPOC registration, they will account your, they will approve your account. The various implementation team authorize the account. Firstly, then they will approve. Uh, then you have to register by student. So for student, only students selected in the internal hackathon can be registered. So what is internal hackathon? Internal hackathon is managed by the college. They will conduct this hackathon in your college. They will select 50 teams. The college SPOC nominate top teams based on internal hackathon results. Maximum of 50 teams from one institute can be nominated in Smart India Hackathon. Then, criteria of internal hackathon. So for internal hackathon, they have to submit their report, total number of team participate, total number of female participants. They have to share internal hackathon image, video link, Date of internal hackathon, total number of male participants. Internal hackathon location, total number of student participants. Mode of the internal hackathon could be online, offline. This thing is uh, important for your POC. That's not your things as a student. For conducting internal hackathon, they will prepare the chart as per their. If you want to know, I will conduct for one minute event over you. They will. Uh, Create the report to share the SIH, news article, participating themes, sketching process, or anything like they will conduct by SPOC. So, team formation and registration. This is the main thing for us how to form and how to register. So, all team members must be from the same college, no inter college teams. Like you are from, suppose, VIT college, and your friend is from COEP, you can't give it in one team you have to register with only in same college like you are from vit your teammate should be from vit as well each team consists of six members including the team leader at least one female team member is mandatory like if you have a group of six 
only male members you can't register you have to be one female member is mandatory suppose you only have one female member and five boys it's okay suppose you have six female members that's also okay for software edition programming skills are crucial for hardware edition multidisciplinary teams are encouraged mechanical engineer electronic engineer product designers and programming so for student registration only students selected in the internal hackathon can be registered for the Smart India Hackathon 2025. The college SPOC nominates top team based on internal hackathon results. Maximum 50, 45 shortlisted plus 5 waitlisted team can participate in Smart India Hackathon. What is team nomination process? So, it is mandatory that the college SPOC enter the details for a nominate team in the prescribed format only. They have given answer A, also can be downloaded from the SPOC dashboard. They will download, you can download and get the print and then uh, fill up your form. Team details once entered cannot be altered. College SPOC will be responsible to ensure that all the data entered by him or her is accurate. The letter must be issued on college letterhead only. It must clear the state name of the team and all six member and be college principal. Like they have to do this by the college. You don't have to do anything then i guess submission process so your spoc registration will start in august 2025 like they have already started the last date of team nomination and idea submission by college spoc is 30th september 2025 so you have to prepare your team before 30th september your college should have conducted the internal hackathon as well and you have to submit your idea on your SIH portal. After registering SPOC, you are SPOC registering on uh, your SIH portal, your name or they will give you the team leader ID and password or they will email you. You should use that login for login your SIH portal. You have to submit your idea by your team leader, not from college. You have to submit online. Then ID submission counter will start from August 2025 and only 5 ideas will be submitted for a particular PS. Once the count number got all 500 ideas, the particular PS will get prints and no ID submission will be allowed. So this is very important. Suppose you have, your domain is agriculture, you have chosen one uh, like idea, program statement. You have to make a robot for uh, atom, uh, agriculture. I suppose you have made it great, it's very good, but already 500 uh, teams have already given the idea, then you have to no chance. So please fill up your solution as early as possible. Con number with the idea submitted number and ideas left more will be displayed on the website as well. One team can submit idea against maximum of two problem statement only. Nominated team's team leader will get the login credential as I said after your SPOC upload team details in the portal. The last date for the team nomination idea submission by college SPOC and team leader on your site portal is 30th September. So idea submission process. The team leader needs to be entered the details on the site portal that include verify pre-entered team name, verify pre-entered college authorization letter PDF in given format. Verify pre-entered names of team leader on the rest five team members. Verify pre-entered gender of team members. Verify email IDs of team members and team verify mobile numbers all. Then choose and problem statement of student innovation category. Idea titles, idea description, idea presentation. You have to create PDF as well. So shortlisted ideas announcement will be they will give by notification. On your site portal, they will declare the result. Four to five team per problem student may be selected for the grand finale, but the final decision rests with the problem statement rating organization, which is not obligated to declare a winner unless student proposal meet their expectations. Then, what is general guidelines? Idea selection criteria. Post idea submission process, the ideas will be evaluated by expert. Evaluation criteria will include novelty of the idea, complexity, clarity, details. Like suppose your idea is very good, you have to write like they have no time to see all your 500 like that. You have to write your solution in short way. Like they will get attracted to it and select your idea. 
then mode of ESI grand finale. So ESI 2025 grand finale will be held offline at various nodal across centers pan India and teams have to travel to their respective nodal centers. The tentative dates for the hackathon is third or fourth week of November 2025. Mentors eligibility. For software edition, after teams are shortlisted, each team will have the option of selecting two mentors from the industry or academy. A mentor is expected to have relevant experience of industry. Academic experience to qualify each team of six team members may or may not have two mentors. For hardware edition, pre-industry mentors are encouraged, especially those with over five years of hands-on experience. Then, mentor responsibility you can see on the screen. I don't think you have to need that. Then, general information regarding the grand finale. If a team is selected for the final hackathon, members will need to travel to the assigned nodal center. And then each college institute have to stamp photo ID each member which team selected for the finale. College faculty members traveling to team for the grand finale are not eligible for travel expenses. The nodal center will be arranging for accommodation of teams during the grand finale. The college photo ID and other card is must too. and miscellaneous information. The ideas or solution provided developed proposed by the team must be new and must not have been present in any previous event or program in a sort. Then what are the problem statement and prizes? Team are encouraged to think about out of the box and provide creative solution themes under student innovation category. Amount of prize money to be awarded to each winning team is 1.5 lakh per problem statement. Then, this is all about SIH. If you have any query, you can comment down. I will paste the SIH link in your comment box or description box. You can go through it as well.